In today's video, I will show you how you install Presentation Point's digital signage software called iPoint. I just signed up at presentationpoint.com and downloaded the iPoint setup package. I click to run the setup now. iPoint has three components server, scheduler, and player, and for this purpose, I will install all three of them together on this computer. This is ideal for testing and demoing the package. The setup now contains the installation. You have two flavors of the iPoint player, one for the full PowerPoint program and another one for the free PowerPoint viewer. Now the setup is complete and I launch the iPoint player for the first time. It asks me the location of the iPoint server. Here I enter the name or IP address of the iPoint server computer. Or in this case, I just use localhost for this current computer, since all components are present here on this computer. It connects fine to the server and shows a black screen after the connection process. The screen is black because no playlist has been assigned yet to this player. I right click and choose to exit via the menu. Now comes the real work. I launch the scheduler application and set here again the name of the iPoint server, localhost for my testing. After the connect, we see that there is already one iPoint player connected to the system. This was done when I just started the iPoint player for the first time. When it connects to the server, it adds itself to the system. So that is why we see this player here already. The name of the player is called red because the player software is not connected at this time. I click the playlist tab and I activate the video playlist. I give a name here, the advertising playlist, I will call it. And I click the add button to select a few images for my playlist. Open, and now I have four images in my playlist. I set the advance time to three seconds, and I choose to randomize the content. I hit the save button, and now I go back to my player. I click the assignments button. I right click to add a video playlist. Video playlist for one week here, okay, so. Here I have my first playlist assigned to this player. I open the view activities to see what's happening. And now I will launch the iPoint player software again. The iPoint player will make a connection to the server. It will calculate which playlist to run. And it will copy the files locally to the iPoint player system. And then display the playlist in a random sequence. So now it's copying the files, and it will start with the first image. This for three seconds, and then it jumps to the next image, three seconds, and so on. So I can control and I can schedule the playlist from remote to all my players. You can find more information about iPoint at www.presentationpoint.com. Here as well, you can find the 15 days free trial version of iPoint.